Hello, it's Hi from Hamburg here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the foods that has confused me as an American living in Germany. Uh, so I was studying in 2016, my semester abroad in Hamburg. That's when I took this cooking class at the university and we had to go to the grocery store and collect items for the recipe. And one of the things I needed to find was baking soda. So if you're an American looking for baking soda, which I'll put a photo here. So in your head as an American, you have this box for baking soda. So yeah, I just could not find the baking soda my first time in the grocery store. I couldn't, couldn't find it. And um, I think at the time I didn't have data, so I couldn't Google it at the time. So, but yeah, now I know that if you're looking for baking soda as an American, it's these little packets, I guess. Okay, so one packet is one spoonful. So. Yeah, I'm not really sure why in Germany they're sold as little packets and in the US they're sold as like in a box that you can, no idea. But let me know if you know more than I do in the comments. <laughs> so the second most confusing thing as an American, I experienced this for the first time last week. I was trying to make this recipe, it needed chicken broth. And so for me as an American, this is what I think of when I think of chicken broth. So it's a liquid, it looks kind of like, like a milk carton and it's a liquid and that's chicken broth. So uh, chicken broth, vegetable broth, all these things are usually a liquid and a carton. So that was shocking to me when I told my boyfriend like, okay, I'm looking for this. And he told me like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, it should be in a carton. It should be where the soups are. Cause that's where I find it in the US, in California, I find it by the soups. So he was telling me, I don't think it's gonna be there. I'm like, let's try. So I looked and looked, didn't see any broth. And for broth in German, it's Brühe, Brühe, Brühe. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Then he told me, I think it's a powder. I'm like, no, it's not a powder, it's a liquid. So this was like hard for me to just accept, just accept, I'm not gonna find it as a liquid. I accepted that like, okay, it must be similar. I don't know, it's in a powder. I hope that means it's the same quality. Cause I was really excited about this one recipe. We actually kind of ruined the recipe with too much wine. So I, I couldn't really taste if it, this tasted like normal chicken broth to me or not. Yeah, so that was shocking. So if you're an American coming to Germany, chicken broth is not in the soup section. I kind of forget what section it is, but anyways. Next will be, so for that recipe I was talking about earlier, I also needed some tomatoes to put in with the sauce. And my boyfriend said, why don't we just use this thing? Which I guess it's tomat and mark. Um, and I was like, I don't, that doesn't sound to me like, I don't, what? For me, I was like, let's just use real tomatoes. I don't know what this is. So three part concentrate. It's tomato and spice salts and that's it. So there's just salt and tomato. Concentrated tomatoes in a tube, in a tube. It's the tube part that's like the weird part to me. Usually I've only ever seen tomatoes in a can, a jar, jar, I don't know, mostly a can. And it tastes weird to me too. When we use it, it's like, it tastes funny to me. But then again, I'm not a cook, a chef. So maybe it makes sense for cooks and chefs. Tomato and mark. Oh, tomato puree, tomato paste, okay. So in Germany, when you buy candy, be careful. Sometimes you'll find things that you don't expect because usually in the US, black licorice is very special. It'll be in its own bag far away from the other candy. And there'll be a big warning that this bag has black licorice. And black licorice in German is Lakritz. So Lakritz, and especially in Northern Germany, they love Lakritz, including my boyfriend. This was surprising to me when I first started buying candy because I was like, ooh, like a, a lot of the Harib, Haribo, Haribo, we say in English. Uh, these candies have always these mixture candies and they're really yummy. And then you'll get like random black licorice things, which usually in the Haribo, luckily they're not too strong because I don't like black licorice. I actually found a black licorice store because I was trying to get a present for my boyfriend who really likes black licorice and I just Googled black licorice Hamburg and the store popped up. How cool is that? There's a store dedicated to just black licorice. If there's one thing I'm probably pretty sure about is that in Southern California or I don't know about the US, I don't think there's gonna be a black licorice store in the US. It's not on this one, but on the other bag it said like, only for adults, like there were some warnings because I guess licorice, black licorice has this effect on your heart, I think. So you gotta be careful how much you eat, I guess. A lot of these are from Denmark. Um, when we were in the store, we noticed that. Okay, so next is Studentenfutter. I remember when I was studying and I, I learned what the word student was and, I'm, and then I learned futa was like what you give your dog. And I'm like, wait, this is student food? Like student treats? Like, I was like what? They make things just for students here? So I was living in, a, in Oldenburg at the time studying, so I thought, I just thought this was like 
a special thing just for university towns or something but no it's it's just like the word Germans use for like brain food. We call it trail mix in the US. Oh my God, that is a translation in the dictionary. Trail mix, nuts and raisins. But yeah, you've got peanuts, almonds, cashews, raisins. So when I was studying at the uni university in Oldenburg, that's the first time I saw bread that you bake. And um, I mean, I, we have bread that you bake in the US but these are just so popular here and usually the bread that we bake is like i think more special occasions but yeah germans are really into their production so they taste good they're made with good quality stuff and this one mm, it smells good the german bread is just so good you feel good after eating it you're full sunflower seeds on the entire bottom poppy seeds and a few more sunflower seeds and then oatmeal and just like great stuff like the us needs better bread i don't know why we just eat just horrible quality bread and food. I feel like there needs to be a food revolution. I know there's a lot going on in the US right now. I feel like food is another thing people should attack at some point. So I'll put a picture of cornstarch in the US, what I was expecting. And this is what the German one is. So maybe it's similar. I don't know. It just it was hard for me to find for some reason. I was just surprised by how different this word was to um, cornstarch. Speisesterke, cornstarch. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, Stärke, start, <laughs> tongue twister. Coffee. So one of the biggest complaints my boyfriend had when he was living in the US with me was the coffee, the espresso, he just hated it. And so here he found one he likes. So I'm gonna use this as my example because he likes it, that means it must be pretty good. It smells so good, oh my God. Um, Berg Cafe Rosterei, there's a, I think one or two locations of this cafe in Hamburg. So yeah, coffee in Germany. Germans really like their coffee. Um, a lot I've noticed like it just black, just straight coffee, nothing in it. So that was new for me. And then these guys, knoppers. And these are a special type of knoppers, I guess. This is the Nussriegel knopper. I've never had a knoppers. Knoppers Nussriegel. Oh, knoppers Nussriegel. Yeah. The original knoppers is this. Where you have oh. just the two waffles and the chocolate nut, nut thing in the middle. Oh. And this one is kind of like furious. First, first knoppers. It's like a Snickers. I like it, but I don't like the wafer. I'm not a wafer fan. I like the caramel part. I would say this is like the German Snickers, maybe. It's pretty similar, I would say. Less nuts on the inside. They're pretty good, though. We definitely don't market this as a Christmas thing. I don't see this lined up for the, on the Christmas marketing table at the grocery stores in the US, but it's definitely, it filled the whole table full with dates. Germans like dates, 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 which are very healthy. So I need to start liking them too. Well, this one's is like probably filled with a bit of sugar, but, uh, or maybe not, I don't know. And then chocolate. Ah, this one is my favorite, this brand. And also I do like pretzels in my chocolate that's pretty yummy but this one's a little bit too much dark chocolate i like i just like this brand a lot it's so good it's so milky and yummy i just feel like the chocolate in germany is just so good high quality yummy so lint chocolate i would say when i went into the grocery store in california and i saw something that said lint chocolate i'm like Meh. i would think that's like an okay brand it's not one that i would think of as like Top notch, but here this is like top notch for Germans. There's like the whole the line to get into Lind right before Christmas. They have like their Lind store, which we don't have. I don't, yeah, I've never seen a Lind store before. I don't think. Oh yeah, we have Seas Candy is like a really popular chocolate place in California. Lind chocolate, and actually I get it. Like these things are really delicious, and I never really tried Lind before. Not this one though, this one's dark chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate. So we have the Choco Crossies. I've noticed Germans like chocolate on cereal, but I've never seen that before. I mean, Nestle is also a company in the US, so it tastes okay. I just don't like chocolate covering my cereal. <laughs> and so I'm trying a lot of new things in Germany. Anyway, so that was my video. I hope you enjoyed and um, yeah, I'll let you guys know the next time I'm confused, I'll talk about it in a video. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Bye.